Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am back yet again with the iHeart Revolution Spritz Collection, but this time around I'm gonna test out the Lemon Spritz Palette. If you haven't seen already, I've already tested these two out, the Cherry Cherry Lit, I keep saying Cherry Cherry Lit, Grapefruit Fizz and Cherry Cola. They'll be linked in my description box below if you wanna check them out after this video. I'll also be testing this Ombre Blush out, and this just looks so yummy. I don't have this tone of blush in my collection, so I'm excited to try this out. I also let you know at the end which is my favourite palette out of the three. So yeah, if you want to see how the Lemon Spritz performs on my eyes today, what kind of look I do, then make sure you hit subscribe. Turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on my content. I do also have a makeup Patreon as well if you're interested. I'll leave that in the description box. Well yeah, without further ado, let's go. Okay, so. Lemon Spirits. I feel like this colour story is very summery. I can't wait to try out that matte blue and maybe this shimmer blue as well. I'm just gonna firstly like, moisturise my face because I just feel like I cannot do my makeup without prepping my skin. This is the Skin Proud Sorbet Everyday Jelly Moisturiser. Feels so nice, this does. So fresh. But yeah, as you're watching this, I'm hoping these blushes, these ombre blushes are now on the website because they're still not on the website. And it's like, why are they not on the website? They're on Super Drugs website. Mm. I'm gonna use my Beauty Bay Eye Base just to prep my eyelids. I have put a tan on today, so it is looking quite bronzy. I'm trying my best to see if I can get this filmed within an hour. I have visitors today, um, which never happens. No one ever visits, but um, we just got some family coming over. Thought I might as well. Make myself look presentable, you know? I'm gonna start off with this shade Sour. I'm just gonna throw that everywhere in the crease. So looking at this palette already, there isn't much depth in that. The darker shade I'd say is Yum, which is this dark brown here. I say it's a good mixture of mattes and shimmers. So you've got you got two shimmers here, a gold, goldy one, and then you got more of a yellow one, and you got a blue shimmer down here. You've got a really bronzy brown shimmer there, and then you've got this interesting one here. Called Zesty. Ooh. You know what? All these yellow shimmers look quite similar next to each other. They're so pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna focus this just on the outer crease for now. I might just, I might bring it in. Just see, just see what happens with it. Got no issues with the pigment. I'm gonna use my Emma Fleming brushes as number six. I'm just gonna blend it out a bit. I may just bring it further into the crease as well. With the same brush, I'm going to go with a lighter shade now. I'm going to use Lemon Squeezy, this matte yellow. I'm just going to blend that into the sour shade. And hopefully blend it towards the end of my brow. I'm also going to take that sour shade, what we started off with, and just start using it on the little lash line now. This would also look nice with my Dr. Seuss eyeliners, which I may use in today's video. There's a yellow one, which will so look nice with this look. Okay, I'm gonna try add some depth. I don't think it's gonna add too much though because it, there isn't much depth to it. This is the Yum shade. I'm just gonna focus this on right there out of corner. It is buildable, just takes a little bit of time, but if it was darker, it'd be so much quicker. But yeah, it's just not dark enough for my preference. I'm gonna take this citrus shade. It's just really, I can't describe that color. It's very light. I'm gonna use that just on the brow bone. Just see if I can soften it out a bit more. Okay, now I'm just gonna lay another layer down by using my P. Louise Rumor 02. I like to use this if I'm using a totally different shade. So inst for instance, I'm gonna go with this blue. So I wanna lay something down. I don't wanna mix the shade with the orange. So I kinda wanna keep it separate a bit. Cut creases on me, I like them softer. So I'll just use the end of my finger just to buff that out on the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with a shimmer. I'm gonna use this Sesti shade. I wanna put that somewhere. I'm thinking of putting that just where the cut crease ends. So it's zesty. I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to see what it's like. So I'm just going to pat it over. Pre. And I didn't wet it. And it's still showing up. Very nice. It's like a topper shade. Okay, now I'm going to go with this blue. 
let's use i'm gonna use my sheen brush it has no numbers on it let's see how pigmented this is oh not bad nice I am using a really dense brush, so it's packing on really nicely. Okay, next shade I'm gonna go with Bubbly, and I'm just gonna put this in the same spot. Just see if it makes it even more pigmented. Oh God, yeah, it does. That is so pretty. Didn't even need to double dip. That is just one dip. I'm gonna go back into Sesti. I feel like the Sesti shade works nicely with the blues in here. So I'm just gonna pat on the end. Yeah, the Sesti shade is so nice with that blue. Okay, so for my inner corner, I'm gonna go with a Sliced. And I might wet this, I don't know. Let's just see what it looks like without having to wet it. Oh no, you don't need to. Wow. Well, These are so nice. Okay, I am very impressed so far. Next up, I'm just gonna go in my Dr. Seuss eyeliners. This is in the shade One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. And I'm gonna put this on the waterline. I think I'm gonna go with an eyeliner with this look today. I haven't worn eyeliner in a couple of days, which is like a record for me. Well, I haven't worn it in a while on camera. I'm just gonna pop on some eyeliner. I'm just gonna do this off camera. I will be using my Clueless Revolution eyeliner pen. Okay, now to try this peach ombre blush. As I'm filming this now, it's not on the Revolution website. I did get this from Superdrug. I love the peach imprint in it, so cute. So that is the color comparison from the ombre. I have heard of someone that this is very pigmented. I did find the cherry one very pigmented as well. So I might just work lightest to darker. So I'm gonna start off with the lightest just to see what it looks like on my face first. I don't want to swirl it all together, but I guess you could do that. I don't want to ruin it. So I'm just going to work in stages. So starting with the lightest. And I'm going to tap a lot off because I've heard that it's best to do that. And already on the lighter shade, look how pigmented it is. And that is tapping off as well. That is so nice. It has got like shimmer particles in it, I can see. Let's go over to the middle now. Whoa, that is pigmented. It is coming a lot off the brush. Um, just wipe it on the back of your hand and just go in that way. Yeah, it's very pigmented. Very nice though. I do really like it. If you're finding it a bit too strong, just go over it with a sponge or, or a powder puff or anything. Right, I'm gonna go with the darkest one now. I feel like I won't get much use out of the darkest one, but we'll see. Yeah, it's pretty intense. <laughs> Very pigmented. Yeah, this is too pigmented for my liking. That side, the darkest, I probably just concentrate on the middle and the lighter shade. That bit needs some work. So yeah, I would suggest go in stages, start from the lightest, see how you work with it, build it up as you go along if you feel like you need to intensify it. But yeah, that last stage of color is just too pigmented for me, but it still works out nice. It has like a slight sheen to it as well, I can see. And if, yeah, you can definitely see the shimmer particles in there as you lay it down on the skin. I really like that. These ombre blushes are just my jam. Okay, I'm gonna experiment with these two again. I'm gonna try out the pineapple and this liquid highlighter, the lemon lemon spritz highlighter. I'm just gonna spray my face first. I'm gonna use the Benefit Professional Spray. Okay, let's go in with the pineapple then. So I'm gonna mix them all together, why not? Yeah, I can definitely see it now. I feel like the cherry ombre blush what I used in the last video was more sheeny compared to this one so i couldn't tell if i was getting the highlight from the blush or the highlight but i can definitely say i can see the highlight from this and this is a beautiful highlighter yeah so on this side i'm going to test out the lemon spritz highlighter it's 
So with this one, I do like to use it with my finger. I feel like this side is looking a bit patchy. It's like lifting the blush underneath. So I'm not sure about that side, but this side I really do like. Maybe it's my fault powdering, I don't know. I'm just thinking how would you use that if you're gonna wear blush underneath? I like to highlight it more when I used it the other day than I did today. Um, I don't know what's going on there and I don't know how to blend that in. If you're gonna wear blush underneath that highlighter. Hmm, <sighs> this is such a weird product. Like how do you use this if you're gonna wear blush? Do you put it on before blush? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use it like that. This is more of an experiment. I'm very new to liquid highlighters, so I need to experiment with this more. I'll make sure to include this in some videos when I get around to filming it and test it underneath a blush. Because I just don't like the way it's lifting my blush. Like You can tell there. You can see a patch. So if you've got any suggestions for me of um, how to avoid that please let me know in the comments and i'm pretty sure you could help a lot of other people as well <laughs> but it just shows when you have a new product try it all in different ways because you're gonna like it one way you're gonna dislike it the other way it's all about trial and error when it comes to new products especially different formulations i've got this new she glam lipstick i might try out let's just see it is matte oh wow that's pigmented i did not expect that that feels nice. It's a matte formula, but it doesn't feel dry. Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna put on the Lemonade lip gloss. This is just a clear lip gloss, this is. I'm just gonna put it on the bottom lip. Just a bit. There we go, juicy. Okay, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face. I'm gonna put some lashes on. I'm gonna do something to my brows and then we can come back and have a little debrief. I'm really liking this look. I think this is my favourite second look. So here's the completed makeup look. My freckles gone a bit dodgy there, please ignore. Um, the eyes. I am so impressed with this collection. Really liking the outcome of this. I think this is my second favourite look out of the all three looks that we've done. I definitely recommend these palettes. These are so cute, especially for the price of them. Six pounds, like you just can't go wrong with them. I've liked every single look that I've come out with. My favourite has got to be definitely the Cherry Cola, just because I love pinks. Second is going to be Lemon Spritz. I think this is so nice for summer, especially that pop of blue. And then we've got Grapefruit. Don't get me wrong, this palette worked absolutely fine. But if I had to choose, definitely these two. I prefer these on my eyes. This peach blush, be gentle, be kind because it is pigmented. You get so much payoff even with the lightest shade out of the palette. Work your way up. I wouldn't suggest you starting off with this shade because you're gonna be in for a shock. It's got pigment, you just need to tap it, tap on your back of hand or something and just build it up that way. These highlighters are confusing me because I've been really liking this more than this one in this video. I need to practice this more, especially putting it underneath blush because I don't like how it's lifted my blush on that side. I'm hoping these are on the Revolution website, so do check out there. But if not, go in Superdrug because they are there. The lip glosses are okay. They're very cute though, aren't they? I should have got the cherry one. But yeah, that's the end of my Spritz collection series. What do you think? What are your favourites? But yeah, if you like this video today, I do appreciate it that you hit the subscribe button. Also, let me know what else makeup you'd like to see on my channel. But yeah, that's me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go. If you did like the video, give it a like. And I also do have a makeup Patreon as well. If you're interested, I'll leave that in the description box. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now we're time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye.